Hey, what's happening, y'all? It's your boy, Jesus. I'm just dropping in. I'm filling in for Daniel Dragonstaff for this tutorial. You know, I don't really like to take credit for tricks or claim who came up with it first or anything like that. But he, uh, he gives credit where credit's due, and he hit me up, and he said, Hey, I'm trying to get you to teach this Halo tutorial because I know your Halos are godlike. So... I'm here blessing y'all with a Dragon Staff tutorial for Halos. Now if you don't already know what Halos are, they look like this. Oh, oh okay. You don't you don't you don't think I'm the real Jesus, okay. Okay. Now how do you explain this? Huh? Then, uh, then how do you explain this? Huh? Yeah, see, I got some tricks up my sleeve. Okay. Oh, okay. You really don't think that I'm Jesus. Okay. 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 Then how do you explain this? So, I do got a prerequisite for this move, uh, and that's just going to be your split time chi roll with the staff rolling away from you. It's going to make it a little easier coming in and out of this halo trick. Now, if you haven't already noticed, I got my spokes on one side, my spirals on one side. That's just to help you differentiate what's going on in this whole halo thing. Alright, now we're going to get into this thing. To start... We're going to keep it really simple. We ain't even going to worry about the staff rolling or spinning or anything like that. We're just going to hold the staff and keep it static, if you will. And, uh, you know, we're just holding it out in front of us. I'm going to turn around so that we're facing the same direction. Maybe that's less confusing to you. And uh, so we got the left side here, my spoke side. I'm going to bring that side over to my right side. Okay. Now, that same side, the spoke side. I'm going to bring that side of the staff just past the center point, you know, maybe like six inches away from the center point, something like that. I'm going to bring there right up to my right shoulder. You see what I did there? I had it in front of me. I brought the left side to the right. I brought that side up onto my right shoulder. And then I let go. And the other side of the staff, my spiral side, is going to come up over my head and make contact with my left shoulder. And you can just catch it right there. And we'll pause right there. Okay, so I want to pause right there and I just want to point out something really important. I started, I'm facing forward, right? When I brought this side of the staff over to my right, I turned to face the right. You see how my chest, my shoulders, they're all facing the right now? And I keep that going on as I bring that side of the staff, <clears throat> pardon me, up onto my right shoulder and let the staff come up over my head, behind the head, and I catch it right there. And then, as it's coming to my left side, I'm going to turn to face my left. Alright, that's going to be really important in this trick, because that's what's going to give the staff something to... Uh, Something to rest on. Something to make contact with. It's you squaring the shoulders like that. You face them one way. You're facing this way. And then as you turn, staff comes up overhead. And you turning brings that shoulder to the place it needs to be for the staff to hit it where it needs to hit it. Alright. Now, we'll carry on. Alright, so remember, to start, we ain't worrying about the spin or the roll or nothing like that. We're just worrying about the staff finding the pathway of this trick. So, spoke side comes from the left to the right. Bring that side of the staff onto the right shoulder. Staff comes up overhead as you turn. Catch the spiral side of the staff in the left hand as you're facing the left. And then bring the spoke side of the staff up and over so that it is on the left side as you started. So most of the tutorials on this channel 
uh, if the trick is, what would you call it, asymmetrical, just one side gets covered. For the sake of time, just one side or one arm, one direction, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we're just going to play around with going to both sides, just so you get really comfortable with this movement of the halo. So, we bring the spoke side of the staff from the right up overhead to the left, and then with holding the spiral side of the staff in our left hand, it's behind us, uh, behind the hip, we're going to bring the spoke side of the staff up onto our left shoulder, let the staff come up over our head as we turn to the right, catch the spiral side of the staff with the right hand, and then bring the spoke side of the staff up and over so that it's just as we started. And then just go back and forth with that a few times. Get comfortable with that. Turning as the staff comes up over your head. Okay. Now once you've gotten comfortable with that, we're ready to bring the roll into this halo trick. Okay, so at this point you should at least get comfortable with this, bringing the spoke side of the staff from the left to the right, bringing it overhead and then catching it with the staff rolling towards you. Pause here. This is where we add in our last step to make the staff roll away from us. So we catch the staff here with the staff rolling towards us. I have it on my left palm and top of my right hand. Spiral side on the top of my left palm, over my left shoulder, spoke side on top of my right hand, which is out to the left as I'm facing the left. Want to be very clear about the positioning here. And then I'm going to give the staff a little bit of a turn or a half a flip, I guess you could call it. I'm pushing the spiral side of the staff, the staff that's up over my shoulder, up and away from me out to the left, and I'm letting the spoke side fall in towards me, towards my hip. And then I switch the hands so that the right hand comes underneath the spiral side of the staff, the left arm comes underneath the spoke side of the staff. So that gives it one half turn, so it switches the direction from rolling towards me to away from me. And then I can turn back to facing center with the staff rolling away from me. I'm going to show that a couple times. It happens really fast. Now I'll show all this from the front, I'll go over the instructions a little more briefly. Bringing the spoke side of the staff from the left to my right, bringing the staff up and overhead, catching it with the staff rolling towards me, and then I give it that spin, pushing the spoke side, sorry, pushing the spiral side up overhead to my left, letting the spoke side fall down towards my hip and then switching places of the hands. All right, now once you get comfortable with this trick, you are gonna wanna drill it going the opposite direction. So you'd be going 
starting with the staff on your left shoulder, move it over to your right shoulder. Same thing. You'll just want to reverse the directions, if you will. For the sake of time, we're not going to cover all that. All right, y'all. I think that does it for your boy Jesus. I'm going to wrap this thing up. Your boy Daniel Dragonstaff will be back with another tutorial very soon. In the meantime, thank you all. Stay blessed.